Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome back, everybody. John and I just had an amazing, amazing experience uh, this morning. Uh, and and at, what was that? At, what was, was that, Art? It was an extension of your prolific reading of yes. a certain author. Yes. Tell, why don't you, why don't you uh, tell us how we got to the special guest? This, this is not just another author interview. Oh, no. Mm -mm. This is an interview with J.A. Jans. J.A. Jans. Now, we interview lots of authors. A lot of our experts are authors. We have met a lot of authors. J.A. Jantz is one of my favorite mystery, maybe mystery isn't the right word, detective novels. There's a couple of genres you could flip her into. Writer. New York Times bestseller. She's written, I think she said, close to 70 books, depending on how you add them up. Mm -hmm. She didn't start writing until she was what, thirty-eight, Art? About thirty-eight. That, so she 38 and, and and she's not shy about her age. She's in her mid seventies. She's yep. been writing uh, half of her life, and she didn't get started because she was discouraged by teachers, a former husband, uh, so many people. And, Despite all of that, right? She she wanted to be a writer. She started writing. Right. A little late in life. By some people's standards, by our standards, right on time. Right. She time she is definitely a poster uh, child for uh, celebrating Act Two, the Act Two generation. Quite yeah. frankly, she should be on. We should make up a T-shirt uh, with a cape uh, a, a version, a cape version of J.H. Vance, because she's just absolutely uh, an amazing story. Just getting to writing, and then of course yeah. all the things she's written about, which you have. Uh, my wife's read them, her extensively. You and Penny have read her extensively. Um, so let's give a little backstory. How did we get so lucky to get her uh, as a guest? You'll love this. You'll love this. I, being a fan of hers, I looked up her website. Hmm. I wrote her an email. Really? On her website. Now, she's she's written 65 books or so. She's been writing for 30 years. She's nationally known. She's award-winning. She's uh, a New York Times bestseller multiple times, I'm sure. And I, the last thing I expected was for her to answer. She answers all her own email. Right. In fact, in the interview, she said, uh, she uh, said, uh, go to my website if you have something you want to talk about uh, or a comment on good, bad. Uh, she said she has a, a special class of uh, readers who find typos. <laughs> she loves them. But what was really uh, one of, I, there were so many interesting parts and we're not going to give away uh, uh, anything. It, it'll be out within the next uh, uh, several weeks, I'm sure. But yes. uh, uh, she uh, uh, has had this interesting life, but it's almost as if some of the stuff is so much based on her, her life through an unhappy marriage and other things that it's therapeutic right. for her, even though that wasn't her intention as she indicated but a lot of other people see themselves caught in certain situations sure. and it becomes common, common marital or right. life situations so you know they say uh, if you want to be a writer write what you know mm. so she uh, she when you read her books you're not reading her life but she's adapted all those things good and bad in her right. life and, and to our the, lives, to fit everybody, the characters. Every everybody uh, has either may have experienced these things themselves in some form and thought they sure. were alone, or know yeah. somebody who has. Right. And she just captures these real visceral feelings, and yes. uh, and displays them through her characters. Yeah, and and the char they're great characters. They're you know all detectives or police people or something like that or or. Or somebody who's got a, a reason to investigate a murder or a mystery or whatever. Great stories that actually, I won't say they don't have anything to do with the characters, but it's like reading two books at the same time. You're reading this story about uh, how they're solving this mystery, who killed and why they got killed and all of that stuff. At the same time, you're, li you're watching the story of the main character mm. evolve from book to book to book you know, um, uh, happy marriage to divorce to whatever it is. 
Um, and so it's a wonderful series. She's got three or four characters, series of novels, each one focused on a different character. Wonderful writer. She's terrific, a terrific writer. Easy to read. And as she said, she's G-rated. She said you could read these books to your, except for the murder and the mayhem. Right. Um, you could yeah. read these books to your grandchildren. Right. Well, with, with your grandchildren. Yeah. You read them my grandchildren, my older grandchildren. Right. They can read the book themselves. Right. <laughs> Anyway, you're right, Art, a wonderful interview. And, um, you know, I was, I was not only pleased, of course, that she would consent to the, take the time to talk to us, but I was also pleased at how open she was about her particular, um, her personal journey mm. uh, of, you know, how she got to be a writer, always wanted to be, but was rejected so many times. Life got in the way and just one day decided, not under the best of circumstances either, decided she was going to sit down and do it. And here she is now, 30 years later, a New York Times bestselling author with 60, over 60 books right. to her credit. So, so, so I think that's a lesson for all of us in our in our second act. Right. And uh, even uh, if you're not familiar with her, you're not going to be introduced to somebody who you may start reading. Uh, and Absolutely. probably more important, okay, if you ever thought you had an excuse to not try something new, okay, yeah, watch, watch this episode uh, coming up uh, uh, in a couple of weeks when it comes out on J.A. Jans. And yeah. if, if you think you can't do something after this, then <laughs> you don't have to subscribe to us anymore, okay, because oh. you're, 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 you're hopeless. What? You're hopeless. You're hopeless. We don't want you as a, a subscriber. We only want people who well, are looking forward yourself, to the next 50 years. I, I still want you to subscribe to us. Oh, so John, John, forward. you're needy. Okay, yeah. for John, please don't unsubscribe. But for me, okay, I'm you. not talking to you, John. Anyway, John, uh, talk to you. please, please, please do when when we publish the uh, the interview with J.A. A. Jens, please mm. do watch it. Mm. I, I think you'll enjoy it. She's a fascinating. Uh, person on her own right, but she also talks about her books, which are fascinating, and her writing process and other things. So you'll enjoy it. You'll enjoy it. Th and thank, uh, thank you, uh, John and Penny, for being so fascinated with her that you wrote to her and just just picked up the uh, old email pen and and wrote her a, a note. Mm. Yeah, great. Uh, who knew? Who knew that somebody that famous? would actually answer their own emails. Yep. Anyway, thanks, John. Uh, uh, when, when we get that famous art, I'm going to have you answer all my emails. Oh, yeah. Will you, but will you loan me your old email pen for me to use it with? You Pick up the old email pen. They, we call it a stylus, oh. but it's... Oh, you, but you, I handwrite my emails. Okay. Did you know that? <laughs> anyway, have a great day, a great week, and we'll see you next week. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.